Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Bucks County, PA. This is a map by TNT Modding. It is 206.85 megabytes to download for all platforms. So, um, this is a map that I know a lot of you guys have anticipated for a while, so I was excited to hop on here and get this going. I still do have two other map tours to catch up with um, from me uh, being gone, so hopefully those will come out either today or tomorrow. So we'll get those out to you. But let's go ahead and start with the description of Bucks County, PA. So it says, Welcome to Bucks County, PA. Here you will find 60 challenging, irregularly shaped fields ranging in size from small to large. There are several empty plots on the map that can be purchased, cleared, and then either converted into fields or used for additional buildings or farms. You start the game on the main farm, which consists of cows and chickens. The horses and pigs, the horses, pigs, and sheep uh, will be displayed on the map as soon as the land is purchased. So um, there we go. Very nice, short, sweet to the point. Let's take a look inside here at the map. So here is the map of Bucks County, PA. Um, where are we at right now? I think we're up. Yeah, we're right up here. Starting farm area is going to be kind of this chunk here. You do own kind of this uh, setup, which is the peripheral. And you do actually own all the land the cell points is on uh, to start off with on uh, new farm mode, at least. So it's, that's kind of nice. So it looks like you can buy most things. Now, I don't know where necessarily all the sheep pens and everything is going to be. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But these are kind of your main points where you're going to start off with. So you have field 15, 16, and 17. This chunk of land in field 28 right there. Um, if we go down through here, you have no new crops. Everything appears to be standard looking at that. Um, we do have some crops actually in storage starting out. So, um, that's kind of almost a FS19 throwback when you have some crops starting out in storage. We have some seeds, diesel fuel as well, solid fertilizer, a lot of liquid fertilizer and a lot of herbicides. So pretty much everything you could use or want. And then we haven't have any additional, uh, uh, crop types or anything like that, or products or anything like that. We have a lot of equipment, which we'll take a look at that all in the store here in a second. You start off with $100,000 in new farmer mode, no starting loan. You do have a cow barn and a chicken coop, as mentioned, and new farmer mode. And there are contracts on the fields that you do not own. Um, you do have some production facilities, just a bunch of greenhouses here. What's it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, nine greenhouses, something like that. Um, no collectibles, but there you go. Where are those greenhouses all at? Oh, right down there. Yeah, so we own, we own the land. We don't own the land those are on. That's interesting. That is kind of interesting. We don't own the land that those are on, but um, those are all there for us. Um, I'm curious where the other animal pens are. So obviously we have ours down here. So what I am going to do real quick, actually, as we get going here. Let's go to farmland. Let's make it all our farm. So we just purchased all of it. Uh, so, okay, so we have pigsty there. We also have, we should have two more. There's horses right there, horse barn, and there's the cow barn right there. Um, so we have those, actually, we already had a cow barn. So is there another sheep right there? Sheep, there we go. So, yeah, a couple of different animal pens that pop up around the map um, as we're going. Um, so there we go. Let's hop in the store, take a look at our starting equipment. Nothing least. Um, and we have, yes, just an absolute boatload of equipment here. So we have a John Deere 6120M. We have a John Deere 6250R. We have a John Deere 9620RX. We have a 9620R and an 8R410. We also have a Mac Pinnacle 6x4 truck. We have a John Deere X9 1100 Harvester. We have a Krona Big X 1180 um, Forage Harvester. We also have a uh, TMR mixer for the animals there. Um, we have a self-propelled sprayer. We have a mower. We have a XUV or the little John Deere XUV, the little side-by-side -side type deal. We have a lot of trailers. We have a Stratman. We have a Stratman Imperion 3401. Uh, we also have a Load King uh, Super B pole trailer. We also have a Super B lead trailer. So that, that's kind of a setup there. And we have a Branther TA 23071 Power Push Plus. Under headers, we have a big old header for our John Deere harvester and a big old corn header as well. We also have a nice forge headerster there, the X Collect 900. Uh, we do have a large stone picker. We have a decent sized mulcher there, large plow, large cultivator, large cedar. This one's not a direct drill, large planter. This one is a direct drill. We have a fertilizer and lime spreader. We also have a uh, maxi roll grass line roller or grass roller, large tether, large wind drover, large forage wagon, large baler. We have a bale loader, bale trailer there. We have a big water tank that can also do herbicide, liquid fertilizer, milk. Uh, diesel and def. We have a leveler. We have a silo compactor or a silage compactor. A couple of John Deere front loader attachments. We also have some front loader tools. We have a fork with a grapple and a universal bucket. We have a header trailer if we need to use it. We also have a belt system. I'm assuming they're going to work for one of our silos. 
we have a, a snow plow we need that and we have a trailer here one of the the box trailers there so we have a lot of equipment that is for sure so let's go take a look around our farm here we got ourselves i'm not sure what this is <laughs> i thought an icon would come up we have a lime station okay A lot of stuff stored through there. This goes out to our field. So left-hand side, we have field 16 and 17 here. Now we do have our farmhouses all the way up there. We'll have to go take a look at that. Oh wait, no. We don't start with that, do we? No, yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, so that is our farmhouse up there. And our XUV, yeah, I'm assuming it's up there. Let's run up there real quick, take a look at that. It's up around this corner here. I got a little confused because I bought all the land there. Um, when I was taking a look at where the animal pens were. We also own this field starting out. Farmhouse up here. Kind of like how it's kind of up here tucked away. I think that's kind of a neat feature. A nice little area here. Garage. Um, XUV right there. How fast does this thing go? 32. We'll probably take a truck when we go drive around so we can go a little bit faster. We'll run back down and keep looking at the main farm down here. All right. So, took a look at... Um, couple things not a lot here lime station there again all that stuff in storage we work our way around here we have ourselves a solid fertilizer storage liquid fertilizer and herbicide and seeds right there and they're all pretty much full up so good to go there huge storage shed here this has a lot of our equipment in it a lot of our bigger equipment repair trigger as well which is nice and out this way down around here this is a way off the farm it looks like or no this is just over to this kind of little yeah, nice little pond here to get some water. Around the corner here, we got our chickens. There we go. This guy's here ready to put the eggs in. I love it. Got our silage compacting stuff over here, and we have a large bunker silo right here. Put some stuff in. There are cows right here. Is this really the one? No, that's not the one off the farm. The one that goes off the farm is right over. Here we go, right here. This is going to take us out to the main road main drag out that way we have our truck hooked up to our large trailers here and over here this is where we can get into our cow barn right there put 500 cows in that bad boy we have a huge pasture here assuming this is for all the cows and everything like that bale trailer right there and we haven't taken a look in this shed yet a lot of our implements through here diesel tank there and i think that's everything Pretty much on the starting farm. So you are well equipped in the starting farm. So some of you may not like that, and that's okay. But you do have everything you'd ever need up there. Uh, oh, we have... Those must be ours, too, up there. I wonder if those those must have been ours as well. Let's hop up here. So up here, um, we do have... These guys are a mod. Oh, by the way, there's a required mod. It's not listed on there, but it's the uh, sugar beet or the root crop storage is what it is. Um, so those guys are right there placed on there. Our right, house up here. I'm curious if... See, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I'm sure we had to have started with this since our conveyor belts are up here. But you have more storage up here. Silo right there. And then you have another storage facility right here if you wish to use it. So, nice storage facility there. And again, you have your silo right there and your root crop storages. So, everything you could possibly need up there. So, there you have that. Let's go ahead and... I actually kind of want to start from the farm. So, I'm going to hop back down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just have a... Uh, truck delivered to us for us to be able to drive around the map and take a look at a few things there's a lot to show off on the map so i'm going to try to do it in a timely manner we will see how it goes as usual all right let's go ahead and well we'll just go ahead and cut this way because we want to head over this way there's the road i wanted to take but this will work just fine Right out here on the main road. Right, is it right around the corner here? Oh, it's gonna be just up just up this way. Right here on the main road. Right hand side, right through there. You can see we have the bakery point. So you have bakery right there. Um, and out here we have what do we have out there? Feeding grain south. Um, we'll take a look at that when we do the flyover. We'll take a look at that. Um, but we're gonna just drive down this way. Um, we'll take a look at some of these again, some of the peripheral stuff on the outside on um, the flyover. We'll head down here, take a look at these guys. Head up through here, head over to here. Um, we'll probably dip up real quick to take a look at those. And then um, we will head back down over here, drive through the kind of the town area, and then up out this way, and then up out around this way and kind of get us back and probably end about the grain mill right there. So we'll try to show off everything. Again, I am going to miss things. I always put that disclaimer out there. So I'll try to show off everything. And the goal of my map, that car's accelerating quickly. 
the goal of my map tour is this hint, sorry, where I got distracted there, is to just show you kind of the basics of what's on the map and kind of the overview. Um, so you know if it's a map you actually want to play on or not is kind of the goal here. Uh, we do have the Bucks County Bale Sales, which is right. I'll drive up over to it actually. It's a little bit easier. Go this way, right up over here. This is our field because we bought all the fields right now. Uh, Bucks County Bale Sales is going to be this facility right here. So you have that sell point right there for you. And just right here on the right hand side, we got a couple of. Uh, up here we want one production facility and one uh cell point so we have a debris crusher the sugar mill the debris crusher is tucked around the corner we'll drive through here so you can kind of see it i yep, just tucked in there for you head out this way we'll head down the road here and as we're going along we have the bucks mill cell point right there got that as we head down through here right hand side you can see we have i believe that's carpentry is it carpentry yeah carpentry point right there and then here we have the oil mill and the quaker mill the oil mill being a production point the quaker mill being a cell point so don't get those two mixed up past that right there we're gonna try to blindly drive through these trees here see if we can this is terrible it's absolutely terrible um let's go in cab i know i don't typically do this for uh map tours but we're going to just this one time here we have the oil mill Right up around here. Might be able to see a little bit better now. Nope, not quite. Might loop around. There we go. There we go. I don't like to jerk the camera around too much if I can avoid it. But there's the OML there. We'll head out this way. Holy smokes, there's a lot of uh, a lot of trees in there. Which is kind of cool, but um, only when you're playing, not when you're touring it on a map tour. And then we have the Quaker Mill, which is just up that driveway right there. And we're going to flip around and get out of this heavily wooded area without too many issues here. And we're going to have to jump through this chunk real quick right here. Actually, I think in terms of where we want to go, I think, yeah, we want to take that road actually that we just passed. So let's go get back over onto this road here. This will take us further on in the map tour. And again, all this will make a little bit more sense and be a little bit more visible when we do uh, fly over. Zoom into us a little bit there. You'll be able to see a little bit more there. All right. Left-hand side here. Yeah, we'll let that save. That's fine. Left-hand side, we have ourselves the Davis Hay and Straw. Right-hand side, we have a silo as well as a pigsty. So this is kind of another farm you have on the right-hand side right here. Silo back there and a pigsty back there as well on that farm. And again, we'll get a good view of it when we do the flyover. All right, we head up this way. Yeah, we'll yeah I think we'll do we'll take a quick uh, right turn up here just to take a look at what's up this road here. Go through that stop sign. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Looks like we've got ourselves a fuel station right here. Is that the truth? Yep fuel station and then up here around the corner we have the tailor shop we'll dip up take a look at that real quick my coffee as we're going I worked graveyard last night and i only got three, three hours of sleep which is great we're gonna do a charity live stream here in a bit it's gonna be great um tailor shop right there for us i will get back to my normal live streaming schedule we're doing some live streams here coming up i'm on graveyard now um so that's kind of been a little bit challenging but uh yeah okay so i think i think it's already up here instead of driving back down and heading over there i think we're gonna head up here we'll take a look at all this stuff in this area and then kind of work our way back down and then we'll actually finish out out there and then we'll do a flyover of the rest of that to save a little bit on the time that we have left i think i think that'll be a wider use of our time since we're already about eh, we're almost 15 minutes into we're probably about this point all right so take this right right here Left hand side, we're gonna have. Well, first off, we have this guy right here, which is um, the water, a water tank. So, which is kind of nice because you have that right next to all your greenhouses. And then we have a million greenhouses you can see back there. These trees are killing me in terms of. I mean, they look beautiful, and the map is really well done. Don't get me wrong, but it does make it difficult to tour it. Um, so there's the shop right here, shop point, and then we have again our mini 
greenhouses. And those look, does actually look like there's nine in there, so there is an odd number. Um, I was curious about that when we counted nine out on the menu. All right, and then down this way, back into the wooded area. Left-hand side right here, we have ourselves the hayloft, and then we also have a vehicle workshop coming up, and then the horses are going to be on the right. So hayloft right there. Vehicle workshop right there. And then right in here, we have our horse barn. So if you wanted to come out here and do some horses, you could do that. And I like kind of the, the layout of the map is really unique. Very unique. I didn't do uh, really a playthrough, and I, I can't even remember if I toured on FS19 uh, Bucks County, PA. It might have come out before I started doing map tours or before I was doing YouTube, actually. It might have been that long. So this is my first time I, that I can remember uh, being on here. This is a really cool map. I can see why there's a lot of people like it. It really kind of feels like you're there. There's a lot of really good detail on it. So definitely understand the appeal to it, that's for sure. Some of you guys that don't like non-worker-friendly fields may not be as appealed to it, but... It's still very nice. Um, up the road there, we have the great processing unit. Just around the corner, we're going to have the Bucks County Farmer's Market. And I think we will... Yeah, I think we will... Uh, well, what's down here? We just have the cow barn, silos, and just, just basic farm stuff. I don't think we need to take a look at that. So we'll head up here and take a left and head down that way. So... Dare I say we can zoom out a little bit to get a little better view, maybe for a little bit here. So we have the Farmer's Market right there on our right there we'll head down here and we should be passing oh geez that car is blending in there it's like trying to drive a remote control car up from up this high that car it was just blended in with the shadows um, all right so animal dealer left hand side gosh these trees are um left hand side animal dealer right here there you go beautiful easy peasy head back out onto the road not get hit by a car. Oh, jeez. Or hit a building. Overcorrective steering. That's okay. We'll continue on our way. Slow but sure we'll make it through everything. Slow but sure. Slow but sure. Uh, Left-hand side looks like we have like a supermarket of some kind. Is that accurate? Yep. Grocery Mart. And the entrance is right there. Um, it's not on the road that we're on. It's right next to where the animal deer would have been. Uh, so we would have to take that turn. But we're going to head down here and keep going. And again, all this will make much more sense once we are in flight mode. And you can't even feel like this is the edge of the map. I just realized there was a really cool rock formation there, but you really don't feel like you're on the edge uh, of the map here, which is pretty cool. This is kind of looks like it. And I like that they did this. So you own all this land starting out, and it is, it's this uh, just pavement texture here, I think, so you can customize it if you want to, which is really nice. Um, right inside, we have a cell point there. What one is that? Uh, the GD Transport Warehouse, then we have APL Transfer Company, and the Pizzeria. Definitely zoom out in here. This is a really cool little town area, actually. Nice little area you can build your own businesses. It's APL right there. APL Transport, I think is what it was. Um, and there's the Pizzeria. Was that APL Transport? Yeah. Transfer, not Transport. Then we have Smith Taylor's and the Restaurant Cell Point. So Smith Taylor's right there. And then just around the corner. Have the restaurant which is the little taco place there a little mexican restaurant um, up there we have the south valley biomass energy that's up in that big plant you can actually see the cell points from right here in the upper left hand corner and as we keep going down towards the end of our map tour we have the dairy you can see up there on the right and then on the left hand side what do we have up over here let's see let us see right here what we have what kind of cell point do we have bucks county processing so We've taken a look at mostly everything except for what's kind of out in the peripherals. So we're going to go ahead and hop out of the truck. We're going to hop into flight mode, and we're going to go for it. So, oh, wow, it looks really cool from up above. All the dense trees you can definitely see. So really cool town area. And again, you own all this land, so you can, this is really cool. You can build this town however you want. And even if you're like, you know what, I wish I, I didn't really want to build my own town. I wish this were, there was stuff here. Well, it's easy. You just put down a couple of cell points and a couple of placeable buildings, and you don't have to put a lot of effort into it, and you have a town built. Easy peasy. Uh, so really not too difficult to do that. Um, going down right here, big grocery store there, big animal dealer there. And this is that uh, area where the cows are at. I think it's cows, right? Yeah, cows are right through here. Uh, so you got that, and you got all those different storages there. And then up over here, we have sheeps right in this little area. And you're going to silo um, sheep pasture, all that good stuff right there. Uh, we'll head back out to the outside. You have farmer's market right there. Great processing facility there. Lots of trees, lots of thick, thick, 
densely populated trees in there. Um, head up this way. So right down here below us, we have ourselves a sawmill area. So nice little sawmill area up there. I kind of like how it's set up on the water there. I think that's pretty cool. And then up over here, I'm sure that's a cell point. That's going to be that bowling alley. Yep. And we also have the spinnery right below us kind of tucked away in the trees there. Really cool. Really cool map. It feels, I mean, this feels like you're in a real life place for sure, which is really cool. Really well done, TNT. TNT modding does good work all the time anyway, so it's not really a shock there. Um, but over here we have, this is kind of that silo area that we took a look at as part of, I think it's part of our starting farm. Um, that's where our house is starting out. And then there's kind of our main farm area down here with all the different setup, all all that all down, down there. And then up over here, we have a cell point, big old cell point up here, big grain transfer station there. Um, and then as we head down here, so we start getting into the rest of the town area. So here we have the cereal factory. I don't think we, we took a look at that. Maybe we did. I can't remember now. Uh, but yeah, everything else down through here, all stuff that we've taken a look at. We're just kind of getting a nice overview perspective. You can see we took the crops down there. But a really cool map. Really well done. Feels really natural. Feels really good. Um, yeah, well done, TNT modding. Well done. But there you guys go. That is the map tour. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.